What's up, YouTube? See you, do people. Uh, so I sent this EPM and ECM out for repair, and a guy said it just needed to be reflashed. Well, after doing some research um, and doing some work on my ski, I talked to another guy who I bought a used computer and EPM from who said that everything works fine. Um, it did work at idle, but the 5 amp fuse was burned here, but you can see someone put a 10 amp in here and then rescribed it. I don't know why they did that, um, but that's not the circuit uh, proper fuse. It should be a 5 amp fuse in here. Um, so anyway, he, the guy that I purchased this stuff for, the gauges work, the computer, it started. Uh, but after uh, you start giving it some RPM, the voltage would go so high that it would blow the 5 amp fuse on the uh, power circuit for the EPDM or EPM. So then he's like, oh, well, you need a rectifier and a stator. And so I did all that just to ensure that that wasn't the problem. It didn't blow the fuse when you just turned it on and beep, it went dead. It would start up, it would run. As soon as you started getting into the RPM and getting that, that voltage uh, up on that uh, uh, magneto, I want to call it a magneto, um, you could watch the amperage on that circuit with a fuse buddy go from, you know, zero five to zero start five rpm seven on up and that's why it would blow the fuse so after doing some research they said the diode was as bad inside the thing well i sent this specific one i was like oh you just need a flash yeah he fucking scanned me uh 375 hours for a reflash and a, and a single key and i described my problems to him he's like oh yeah yeah you just need a reflash well you see I'm here fixing this myself. So be careful to scammers. Um, so what I did is I went to Harbor Freight and I bought a Dremel. And I Dremeled through the case. And you can see right there, there's your diode. And Harbor Freight, Dremel. I just took my time and Dremeled it out. Now I'm scraping away the material inside of there. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys and girls. So there's the diode. I'm going to point to it right here with my screwdriver. All right, I'm getting getting down to the nitty gritty there, and then I'm going to nip the edges of it. Okay, and it goes in this way from what I see. So this is the bottom. So you're going to facing the uh, the bottom plug, is from what I gather. Uh, and I'm going to nip it there, nip it there, and then I'm going to solder this piece in, and I'm going to actually leave it exposed, and I'm going to slather it in. Um, uh, Urethane, probably. Just seal it in there with some urethane let it dry. Uh, but I'll show you the finished product in a little while. But yeah, right between here and here, cut your way down. It was hard prying the plastic off of the silicone and whatever else this, this mud is. Uh, and then I'm just nipping it away and chipping it away. I'm going to get in there and then I'm going to show you the finished product.